Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. It's the day of chemo, but you know what? I must, um, you know what Matt said before he left for work. He said, "Tiffany, it's your second to last one." So I've got this one, then I've got one more, and chemo is done. So yeah, good, 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 good news. So um, I'm not like stressing, but last night I didn't sleep at all. I think it's the heat mixed with the thought of like chemo is nearly going to come to an end. Um, so yeah, I didn't get much sleep at all last night, but I'm really excited that it's the second to last one. Um, so it, shouldn't, it just means that I'm coming closer to surgery, like really, really close to surgery. I'm wearing the We Got This purple t-shirt. Amma's wearing the black We Got This uh, t-shirt. Um, I always say whenever we go to the hospital, we've got to wear the We Got This merch. So if you're interested in getting one, there's always one down in the description box below. I've added summer colors to the collection. So if you want to go have a look. Sorry, the camera just cut off. Yeah, I was just saying, I've added like loads of summer collection colors, like turquoise and purple and pink into the collection so if you want to get one you can I am hungry I am very hungry but because the appointment's quite quick now oh no <gasps> there's a lot of traffic yeah mom go through here yeah. yes please yeah 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 okay we figured out a shortcut I think there's a traffic or some sort of accident is there an accident you think we don't know but there's some sort of traffic on that road so we found like a shortcut and saying to Amma this is the route that I used to take every day to go to work okay. this was my this route one. to work this soon, this soon. yeah soon very soon yeah I used to turn right on the traffic lights here I can't believe it because this was always my shortcut journey and I haven't done this in so long and we never come through this road do we like never oh I miss work even the little like drive to work listen to the radio yeah, I miss like just listening to the radio or like um, really early or listening to a podcast and rushing to go to work. Like I miss all that. Yeah, I bet when I'm back at work, I'm going to be like, I'm not missing this. I don't know why I was. <laughs> no, I'll never complain. Honestly, I'll never complain. Chemo time. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> Amma, you can drop me off at the front. I told Amma to drop me off at the front because she's not allowed in the medical day unit. That's where all the chemo happens, so they're very careful about who comes in. And also, COVID rates are going up again, so... Oh, let me turn the navigation off. Drink some water, actually, before I go. Everyone, take a break, drink some water quickly. <laughs> Amma's dropped me right off. There's the entrance. Can you see it? Oh, I don't want to show you people. So, that's the entrance. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. See you soon. Okay. Love you, love you, love you, love you. We got this. Okay, see you. I've got Baxter's little bag. Baxter's coming home. I'll bring Baxter home. Back. Yeah, you mm. wait in the car park. I'm going to bring Baxter back in my little Baxter bag. Um, I always forget this and they always give me a new one. So this time I was like, I can't forget. Do you guys remember? Remember when I used to pack a whole bag for chemo? If you watch those videos, let me know. Remember, I was crazy. I used to carry every single thing in that bag. Oh, what do you remember? I used to pack in the morning. I'd have like a routine, like, oh, I need my bullet journal. I need my laptop. I need... Do you guys remember? If you don't, what I'll do is I'll leave that, vi leave a couple of chemo videos linked below. But um, what I've done is I've made a um, cancer journey playlist on YouTube. So if you want to see the journey from the beginning, you can, if you want, if you've got time. But you can. No. Yeah? <laughs> okay. See you guys, see you. Amma got really emotional in the car just before I left and I didn't want to leave her. I didn't want to leave Amma, but I told her, listen, I'm going to be right back. It's not going to take too long. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Yeah. Um, at 9.30, it's Tiffany. I'm still gay. Thursday before I came to see you. Uh, Tiffany. Tiffany, Tiffany, okay? Let me just check your thing. Thank you, thank you. And you said that you obviously get the cold I took a little clip of what the room is like. I'm in a smaller room today. It's called the Aqua Zone, so it's a lot smaller. I just wanted to show you a tiny bit of what it looks like, just because I know so many, all, so many people ask me, like, what's it like? What's it like? But I don't want to like 
film other people, obviously. I'm not going to film other people having treatment. <laughs> obviously, I'm not going to do that. But I just wanted to show you kind of an area. Um, so it's pretty much like that the whole way around, like with the chairs and, and the machines and nurses around the area. And yeah, it's just like you're in little, little areas in the room with the chairs and the big chairs, really big chairs. Um, yeah, this room I'm okay with because I hardly come in this room. It's called the Aqua Zone. I'm usually in the purple or the silver. Anytime I go in the purple zone, that was like last time I had chemo. I just start crying because that's like the biggest room here and it just takes me back to the first time I had chemo and it's just really emotional. Whereas this room, I feel like, yeah, it's nice. It's small. It's nice and cool. The air conditioning's on. So, do you know, I'm laughing like in my head because I'm thinking there's on YouTube, we have people doing like room tours or university room tour and I'm like showing you my chemo room tour. <laughs> I called Amma because before I left the car, she was a bit emotional, so I called her just to check up on her, she's fine. She said she's waiting in the car for me to come out because she feels like the most comfortable there, so she just wants to sit in the car. Um, but yeah, she's okay, bless her heart. I think Amma like, tries to stay strong, like she stays strong so much, like in front of me, especially in front of me, she never wants to like break down um, because I feel like, I think she's just being a mum, isn't she? She's being so strong all the time. And so I think she just needed a moment. And yeah, I'm going to go give her a big cuddle when I'm done. <laughs> That's the best one I've come across. Thank you. <laughs> My blood pressure was a little bit higher. Um, but I think any time I come into this area, my blood pressure goes a little bit higher. And also I was thinking about Amma and so I think my blood pressure is a little bit high. They're gonna recheck it just to make sure that it goes down a little bit. So I'm just like drinking water, trying to stay calm, like reading all your DMs on Instagram as well, because that always makes me feel calm just talking to you. A flush both yeah. Menu, yeah. Right with you. I don't know if they'll need that after surgery, but I'm not sure. I'm all done. Um, I'll talk to you when I'm in the car, but Baxter's with me. I'll show you Baxter. <laughs> He's just chilling. He's absolutely fine. It feels amazing coming out of the hospital and the sun's out and there's loads of people around. <laughs> I'm gonna cross the road quickly. I still find it weird, like sometimes when I'm on my own and I'm vlogging in public, I don't know, sometimes I'm like, ah! If I'm with like Amma or Matt and I'm vlogging, I don't mind. But when I'm on my own, I just feel like a little bit <laughs> okay, I'm standing here. Um, Amma said she's gonna drive down because she's parked the car all the way back and I can't walk. Fortunately, I can't walk right now. I'm under these beautiful trees. Like, look, I love it here. Honestly, this is probably the best like place in the hospital, just like at the front with all these trees. Um, I would show you, but everyone's kind of sitting on the benches, so I don't want to do that. Um, they gave me medications. I've got my like anti-sickness medications. Okay, Emma. I'm okay. The bus. The bus. The bus. I told Emma to rush because the bus like stopped right behind us. So I was like, go, go, go. Yeah, just got into the car. I'm good. I'm all good. Baxter is happy, and he's in my little pouch here. Let me show you. Baxter is back. Okay. I'll show you. So, can you see that little bubble? The little balloon in there? <laughs> I guess you're all probably so fed up of me showing you this balloon. But over a couple of days, he will become skinny and then I'll have him removed. So, this is basically the chemo drug, the chemo that I'm taking home. Um, and I call him Baxter. He's my little Baxter. I put him back. I'm going to put him back in here. So, so hot today. Very, very hot. My sister and my brother-in-law, they said they're around the area. Um, so I said, I'll meet them outside for a little while. It'd be nice to see them. Are they here? Oh. Don't know where they are. 
That's not them. Oh, that is them. <laughs> I still don't know what their car is. <laughs> Very hot. Not complaining though. Hello. Oh, hello. Ella's here. Hello. I love your dress. Hello. Everybody loves you, Ella. Everybody loves you. Hello. Like your dress. I like your dress. Hope Mama get it. I did hope Mama buy it. Yeah, he did. He did. Say hello. Hello, everyone. My sister. I think all the medications just made like everything a little bit blurry. My eyes feel blurry. I feel a bit lightheaded. So I just said to my sister, my brother-in-law, like we're going into the car now. Um, I think I'm gonna go home and sleep. I'm not gonna lie, I need some sleep. My eyes feel really blurry. Mm. Like last time, mm. do you remember I had the blurry vision? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go home. I might drink some water. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Emma. Oh, I'm, I'm always scared of that one. Yeah, cheers. Okay, so where like my vision is very blurry and I feel really drowsy, like the car's making me feel sick. Like, it's just making me feel so sick. So um, I think we're gonna go to Costa or something, just sit outside for a little while. I don't know, I just feel like I need to get out of the car. So the Costa's right around the corner. Not really around the corner, but like so five you, minutes away. Your sister house. Yeah. yeah. Should we tell Elodie to come as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll so, be nice. Um, I just feel like, you know when I'm busy, I don't really think about things like, all of this, so I think, yeah, I'm gonna get my sister to come there. Let me call her, let me call her. Last, no, I did have this last time. I remember I came on the, I went on the sofa and I just fell asleep. Yeah, yeah. So I think it just takes like a couple of hours and then my body will be okay. I don't know if it's the best time really to go to Costa, but I just can't sit in this car. I really can't sit in this car. I can't sit here. It's making, I feel like it's making it worse. We managed to get here. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the whole time I felt like I was gonna vomit. I felt like so, I still feel really sick. So I'm gonna go out, get some fresh air and then hopefully that, um, that will help and sort things out. Good. I just feel so dizzy. We're in Costa now. My sister, my brother-in-law, my mama, Ella. Girl. And Baxter, let's not forget Baxter. Baxter's okay. I'm feeling like a little bit better, but um, not 100% yet. But I think it's gonna take a few hours for like everything to kind of settle down. I'm glad that I'm outside of the car though. I think inside the car it was just like too hot. It was like bumpy because of the road and yeah I needed like just to come out so I feel better just sitting here in air conditioning with this little baby girl I got a little snack, but Amma bought this for me, but I'm going to give this to Matt. Feeling better than I was, but I still feel a bit dizzy. So I think as soon as I get home, I'm just going to go to sleep. Um, yeah, I think I just need to sleep it off, really. But it was nice because I had a little bit of food. I didn't eat too much. I just nibbled off whatever my sister bought. Um, oh, I just feel really, like, my head really feels weird. But you know what? It is what it is and I've got... So after today, I've got one more session of chemo and your girl is done with chemo. Forever and ever and ever. 
my mom, my sister and Banya now, they just gone to the pharmacy. But I was like, I'm not going in there just because I'm struggling to walk right now, so. Oh, I just feel like I've been complaining the whole time. I've just been complaining and complaining. But guys, no, I'm actually okay. I'm fine. I feel like I'm complaining the whole time. It's not that bad, trust me. When I had um, oxyplatin, the other chemo, that was a lot worse than this. So shouldn't complain really. It could be a lot worse. With the other one, I wasn't able to breathe. I was like struggling in the car. And yeah, so it's not as bad. So I need to stop complaining. Your girl has become a complainer. Let me just take this bag off right now. Baxter is just sitting in this bag. Just need him to be free. He's free now. Do you know why? When you put this around your waist, because it's already hot, it just feels really tight. I said I wasn't gonna complain. <laughs> now I'm complaining about this. I'm complaining about that. Where's my hairband at? Okay, let me tie my hair right up. How are you guys? What are you guys up to? Please let me know in the comments below. What you what are you doing right now? Are you working and having a little break? Are you just at home? Are you in bed? What are you guys up to? I love, I feel like I'm getting to know each one of you. I think it's because this, it's the same kind of Tiffany Thinks family members that are commenting and replying and stuff. So I feel like I'm getting to know you all. Um, so yeah, leave me comments. I absolutely love reading your comments. Hold on, where's my phone at? Oh, here's my phone. Yeah, I, I just, this is what I do. So let's say um, I'm in the car or I'm, I've just got some time. I just go on my comments or my DMs and I reply back to you. Okay, we're at home. Finally, we're at home. Um, I'm going straight upstairs. I'm gonna go straight to bed. I think where I didn't get enough sleep last night and with everything that, with all the medications and stuff, just made me very very sleepy so I managed to get a little bit of sleep um, I just feel like I need fresh air I can't explain that I feel like I need fresh air um, so I might go sit in the garden for a little while um, I'm so happy that after today I've got one more session of chemo and then I'm done I never have to do this again Please God, I don't want to do this ever again. I also want to say, because if you know someone that's going through chemo or you're going to go for it yourself, just know that the side effects are kind of different each time. Um, you can't really, really prepare for it. You just have to kind of just be aware that I don't know what I'm talking about. I might sleep a little bit more. I think I'm gonna sleep for another 10 more minutes. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about there. <laughs> it's a few hours later. Oh, <laughs> keep forgetting about Baxter. <laughs> Baxter's here. It's a few hours later and Amma's just making some sort of rice with vegetables, like a little bit of like a stir fry. Um, I said I want something a little bit spicy, so she's gonna figure something out. Um, smells good in here, honestly. Um, when Amma cooks, especially when it's like, Sri lankan -y kind of food. It smells incredible. I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat. Amma's come to the shops and she was like, Tiff, I'm gonna to go to the shops and buy some like vegetables and bits like that because we're gonna make Matt's dinner. We're not doing anything too hectic because it's so hot. We're gonna do a vegetable stir fry rice. Amma was like, I'm gonna go and pick some bits up and I was like, Amma, I just wanna sit in the car. I won't come in, I just wanna get out of the house. So I'm sitting in the car whilst Amma does a little bit of shopping. Um, yeah, you ready to go Amma? I'll stay here, I'm happy here. I've got my bullet journal got lots of things I need to sort out so I've got my bullet journal I'm just going to do little bits here bye Emma bye. I've got a very sweaty upper lip <laughs> and a chin <laughs> we're at home now and I'm gonna start cooking and I'm like listen I'm bored Emma let me help you so she's giving me some jobs to cut like cut the carrots cut the potatoes I just said give me something to do um, although she just wants me to sit on the sofa and relax, don't you? But I just want to, I just want to keep myself busy until Matt gets home. Because I feel like when I sit down on my own, I just feel like meh. So yeah, I'm just going to help online cook.
oil, ginger, potatoes and carrots, green chilies, cabbage, leeks and is it called munch toot? Munch toot? Munch toot? <laughs> and you add in some salt. Rice. Just a little bit of dark soy sauce. And that's it. We usually add an egg when um, we want to eat it. We add an egg so it's like egg with all these veggies and it's yummy. I'm gonna try a tiny bit. Um, I'm not very hungry at the moment. Mmm, yummy. You know what? If you eat meat, you can add chicken or prawns or any sort of meat on in that, but I think today we just wanted a veggie day. Going to water the plants now. I just feel a bit meh and I feel like, you know when I water the plants, I feel happier. So let's do that. The plants look so nice. Honestly, I'm really happy with how they're turning out. I feel like it's not like, it's not difficult because it's not too many plants and I think I'm gonna leave it just like this. Um, although I've got a few more of my aunties bringing in plants. I don't know if, I, if you guys remember from that vlog, Basically, I'm asking my close loved ones, like all my aunties, to give me plants from their garden because I think I'll, it will mean more to me so that I can look after it. And um, pretty much all my aunties are into gardening and they love their garden. So, um, yeah, I've got one from my sister, a couple of aunties, and I've got, I think, two more waiting. I'm waiting for two more. <laughs> had a really nice little nap. What I'm gonna do, I don't know why I didn't do this straight away. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, but you know when you're in the hospital and you're having chemo or anything in the hospital, they give you this little label with your name on it, date of birth, hospital number, that kind of stuff. And what I've been doing is I've been cutting them up, not all of them, sometimes I forget or sometimes they're so like worn out. But what I've been doing is I've been cutting them and then keeping them in a box so that when I am cancer free, um, I can burn them. I don't know if I'm allowed to burn this. I don't know, if, it's not like paper. I don't know what material this is. It's a little bit plasticky, so I don't know if I'm allowed to burn it. But once I'm cancer free, I wanna do something with them, like even tear them up. I don't know, like stab them or something. <laughs> I've got quite a few of these kind of gathering in my little box. I don't know. I don't know what I could do. Tell me what you think I should do with them when I'm cancer free. But I'm gonna cut this off now. It's not cutting. I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed, so this is quite hard. <laughs> oh, easy peasy. I'm on to the rescue. I want to show you guys, I don't know if you've ever seen this, the only reason I'm showing you is because Matt had no idea what this is. Do you know what this is? My grandma gave me a bunch and then you just open it up. It's called a rumbletan, a rumbletan. And you take off this hairy, it looks horrible, doesn't it? Because it's so hairy. <laughs> you take it off, it's a fruit. Um, it's like a tropical fruit. It's called rumbletan. I don't know where you can get this. It's probably from like, Asian shops or I don't think they sell them in like Tesco. I've never seen this in Tesco or Sainsbury's. <laughs> so it looks like this. Yeah, it does look like a lychee, but it tastes so much nicer. It's so sweet and juicy. I put it in the fridge so that it's nice and cold. Mmm, yummy. And it's got like a seed in the middle, so you don't want to eat the seed. But yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> eat this now. <laughs> Have you ever tried a rumbletan? Amma, do you like rumbletans? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. If, ha, do you guys, have you ever tried one? If you have, 
tell me if you like them and if you haven't would you try them or matt would doesn't want to try them he's like i don't like the way it looks my darling's home you want to say hello <laughs> hello oh so hot he's going to my leg <laughs> so good day hmm? good day yeah it's very hot though <laughs> what is that? Physio. Physio. Oh, darling, let's go. And you want, what are you going to do? Have din din. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? Oh, tomatoes. Yummy. What's this? Cucumbers. Baby cucumbers. Nice. Ooh. Is this for the iced coffee? Yeah. yeah? Yummy. Oh, this looks really fancy. You've got a vanilla one and a caramel. Yum. Oh, <laughs> wow. Is this so we can go to the park? And ha we can no, do it in, in the back garden. Really? Yeah. Well, if we go to the park? Nah. No? Back garden. Just back garden. Matt's having a quick shower. My battery died downstairs, so I've come upstairs to charge my camera. I thought I'll end the video here. I think that was a sign for me to end the video just so that I could spend the evening with Matt and I feel like this video is good enough I think. <laughs> just going to sort out the dinner, heat everything up and then we can just chill and watch some TV. Love Island's gonna be on soon. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. Thank you for subscribing. I can't believe how many of us are in the Tiffany Thinks family. Like we're growing and growing every single day. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe and be part of my loving Tiffany Thinks family. My Instagram and my Facebook is Tiffany Thinks and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Baxter says bye too. So bye from us. We love you. Mwah.